Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nidhi Basin Mathematics Classes. This video is in continuation of the series of algebraic expression on which I have already made three videos. You can check the link in the i button and in the description box below. So today in this video I am taking like and unlike terms of an algebraic expression and how to find value of an algebraic expression. So let's get started. The first topic which I am taking is like and unlike terms of an algebraic expression. What are like and unlike terms? Now I have already explained you that what is algebraic expression and what, is, what are the terms in it. Now I am taking like terms. Like as the name suggests means something is same, something is similar in them. The terms having the same literal factors or the variable factors. The fact you we have two type of factors, numerical factors and variable factors. If we have same literal factors or variable factors in the terms, they are known as like terms. I'm taking one expression here: 6x square y. How many times? x two times and one time y plus 5xy square here x is y one time y is two times in the next one it is again different because x is one time y is one time in the last one we have y one time x two times so the first term and the last term has x two times and y one time so these two are having same literal factors or variable factors. So in this expression, 6x square y, 5xy square, 8xy, 7yx square. These are the terms. Which are the similar terms? The first one and the last one are like terms. Why? Because they have same variable factor. So that's why we have 6 x square y because x is 2 times x is 2 times y is 1 time y is 1 time so these two are having same literal factors so these are like terms for checking the terms we will check their literal factors if they are same terms are like and if the terms are not having same literal factors they are called unlike terms in the same algebraic expression there are four terms one two three four and the first one and the last one as we have already done are having same literal factors so these are like terms so what we are left with these two these two have x one time y two time but here x is one time y is also one time so these two are unlike terms. So 5xy square and minus 8xy are unlike terms. This is my algebraic expression. And this is made up of four terms. 1, 2, 3, 4. Out of these four terms, the, this x has 2, here x has 2. Here y is 1, here y is 1. So these two are my like terms. But here these two are different from each other. So these are unlike terms. Now I am taking how to find the value of an algebraic expression. How we can evaluate the algebraic expression having variables and constants. What we are going to do? Replacing the literals or variables by their values, we obtain an algebraic expression which can be evaluated. What we are going to do? Whatever are the variables, we will substitute their values. We will take some values for the variables and we will substitute that value in an algebraic expression and 
After that, we can evaluate the algebraic expression. Let me take one example for it. I am taking one algebraic expression x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. What are the variables in this expression? x, y and z. There are three variables. And I am taking their values x as 1, y as minus 2 and z as 3 for this algebraic expression. And when we are replacing the letters by their values, this process is called substitution in the algebraic expression. So I am substituting x as 1, y as minus 2, z as 3. These three values we will put an algebraic expression simultaneously. Both the uh, three variables are there. Three variables will be replaced by, by their values in the algebraic expression. So x cube will become because x is 1 so it will become 1 cube. y is minus 2 so y will be replaced by minus 2 so it will become minus 2 cube. z will be replaced by 3. So in place of z I am substituting 3 so it will become 3 cube. After that we have minus 3xyz so it will be minus 3 x is 1 y is minus 2 z is 3. So th this way we are going to substitute the values. Now 1 cube we know that is 1. Minus 2 is multiplied how many times? 3 times. Minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2. We know that minus when one multiplied with minus it will become plus. So these two will become plus. But when this plus will be multiplied with this minus 2, this will become minus. 2 minus will make 1 positive. But when 1 positive is multiplying with the third negative, it will give us negative. And 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. So it will become minus 8. 3 was positive. 3 into 3 is 9. 9 3 is 27. So 27 will come. And here, after substituting, we have minus here, minus here. 2 minus, when are multiplying, they will become plus. So, this will become plus. 3 into 1 is 3. 3 2 is a 6. 6 3 is a 18. So, this way it is getting 18. Now, how to solve it further? We will first add the positive terms. We have 27, 18 and 1. So this will be 9 plus 7, 16, 46. All the positive terms and after that I am subtracting 8 from it. So what will be the answer? I will be getting, what I will be getting? I will be getting 30. This is my answer is 38 because negative is smaller than the positive so sign of positive will come. Now in this expression if I am substituting the values x is 1, y is minus 2, z is 3. Then what I am getting? 3 is getting replaced with 3, x is getting replaced with 1, y is getting replaced with minus 2. Then minus sign is there. Then minus 15, x is getting replaced with 1, y is getting replaced with minus 2. Plus 4 and z is getting replaced with 3. Now the same way I will solve, 2 minus when multiply will become plus. So here 4 times 2 is multiplying, so um, what will be the answer? Answer will be in plus. So I will be getting... 3 into 1 into 2 into 2. This will become positive. This will become positive. So positive positive will be 16. Now here minus 1 square is 1. Minus 2 is minus 2. So this minus will multiply with this and will become a plus. So answer will be 15 into 2 is 30. Plus 4 into 3 is 12 plus 12. 
since all are positive, so 48 plus 30 plus 12 is 90. The process of putting the value of literal numbers in an algebraic expression is called substitution. When we will substitute the values, we can get an algebraic expression which can be evaluated. And we can evaluate it means we can find its value. So this way we can find the values of an algebraic expression if we know the values of all literal factors. And this is the method of replacing the literals by their numerical value. Thank you for your support. Please like, share and subscribe my channel Nidhi Basin Mathematics Classes. Keep sharing, keep learning. Thank you.